Cochise County certifying the 2022 election by court order. Cochise County was the only county in Arizona not to canvass the election by the deadline Monday. This ends an unprecedented week-long legal saga. Steve Nielsen joins us live with all the twists and turns that happened today. Steve, is it over? Oh, that's a good question. There's definitely still likely going to be lawsuits going forward. But what this allowed is for the state to formally certify or canvass this election on Monday, which was the original plan. The Secretary of State, the governor-elect, Katie Hobbs, she put out a tweet after this saying that this is a win for Arizona's democracy and it ensures all Arizonans will have their votes counted. Even though the judge mandated that the county meet to canvass this election today, one of the three supervisors still didn't show up. After a recess, the judge was clear. You will meet today. You will canvass the election no later than 5 o'clock. Cochise County Supervisors, without an attorney, were mandated to canvass the 2022 election. After two supervisors brought up concerns with Maricopa County's elections and tabulator certification last month, the board did not meet their legal requirement to canvass by November 28th. The Secretary of State's office sued the board to canvass. Attorney General Mark Burnovich, who has been overseas at the World Cup, has become a focus of both sides asking for more. Former AG Terry Goddard and former county attorney Rec Romley wrote a letter demanding Bernovich investigate the supervisors. Do you believe there will be criminal charges filed? That would be up to the prosecutors, but I, I think that at least on its face, from what we know today, there appears to be a violation of state law. And that could lead to criminal charges which, with a class six felony. Thursday morning, the board met to hire an attorney just hours before their court hearing. Supervisor Ann English is the only member who has voted yes to canvas. So we have no legal representation two hours before we're supposed to appear in court. County Supervisor Peggy Judd and Tom Crosby hired a Cave Creek attorney. I'm okay with doing it. I feel it's better than doing nothing. The attorney didn't make it in time and the board was required to represent themselves. This hearing is going forward today. At the emergency county meeting ordered by the judge, Supervisor Crosby did not show up. Judd said that she was voting yes because the judge said she must. Good luck to our county and, and the world and keep fighting. And I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not done, obviously. I couldn't even make the motion. In the end, it was canvassed. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. And it's so ordered. And to add on to all of the different back and forth that took place today, the attorney that the county hired to represent them who wasn't able to make it to that hearing in time filed a petition to move this case to a different court, the U.S. District Court for Eastern District of Arizona. The problem is that court doesn't exist. We'll work to continue to get reaction to everything that happened today for you tonight, so stay tuned for that. Reporting live, Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.